Doing your research and fact checking everything you want to discuss online seems almost crucial. People hear and read everything online first without seeing if any of it is true and I'm as guilty as anyone. I came on here ready to rant and rave about Rockstar, so I thought I'd do my research to get my facts straight before I start screaming at Rockstar for something that doesn't even appear to be in their control. Having said that, let's begin. In 1997, a company called DMA Design started developing a game called Racing Jace, which was intended to be a fun, addictive and fast multiplayer car racing and crashing game. Though some of the designers working on it at the time had games such as Syndicate and Elite for inspiration. After some minor debate and a quick discussion, it was decided that the game would be published as Grand Theft Auto. But this was not the case. The original developer of the game was intended to start in April 1995 with the whole thing planned out. It was really simple. May, complete the game design. July, the engine. Look and feel in October, first play in January, alpha in April and finish this shit in July. Not a single deadline was it. Not one. So remember how I told you the game was published in 97? That's because countless problems including changing the name several times, numerous attempts to stop the development and a list of other reasons, production kept falling behind. But after years of development, the game was finally released and state started one of the most successful franchises of all times. The company was soon bought by Take-Two in 1998 and became what we know today as Rockstar alongside several other companies including Rockstar Canada where they most likely acquired the name. But I'm not here to give you a history lesson, I'm here to talk about GTA 5, and more specifically the servers. I pre-ordered GTA 5 the day it was released in PS3. I bought it again after the release on the PS4, and once more last year when I built my PC. And I thought to myself, how much money have I given Rockstar? At full price for PS3, and 4, and half price in Steam sales, thanks to Gabe, our Lord and Saviour, and of our wallets, meant I had spent £100. So I started discussing with friends of mine how much money Rockstar had made from this game alone. So I did my research, and sure enough, GTA V, one of the most successful games of all time. So, this game was pulling in a ton of money alone on hard sales, I mean, I must have read the figure 500 million a year on shark cards on a dozen websites. I don't know exactly how accurate this is, but I think it's safe to assume Rockstar is pulling in a lot of money. So why is it that every time I go online there's 5 new guns, 30 new outfits, 8,000 new supercars, yet simply to join a game or a server takes 3 to 5 business days? They must have money. Just fix the damn servers instead of adding cars that can fly and shoot missiles. Well the simple answer, while I can't find any exact figures, is they don't have enough money. People seem to forget that every time a game is sold or profits are made, take 2 get all the moolah. That leaves Take 2 with the fun job of deciding how much money Rockstar have to spend on their games. Now it may seem like Rockstar could just use the money to fix the servers instead of releasing DLC. But as it were, servers are very expensive. Rockstar, from what I can see, don't have dedicated servers. Sure they have servers for matchmaking, but apart from that it all seems they could work on P2P. So, why is that important? Well, put simply, P2P relies on big servers sending out data packets to clients or the people playing online that makes the connection unreliable and inconsistent. It relies on individual computers transferring data packets. A dedicated server runs on one massive server in a building somewhere with extreme power and an ultra-fast connection speed. A dedicated server handles all the load, but is more reliable and frankly far more expensive. So what does this all mean? It means Rockstar were given a budget of around 250 million a month to put more money into the game itself instead of the servers, since P2P is cheaper. But the good news is, with GTA 6 likely in the works, the consistent complaints from users and the extreme success of GTA 5, Take 2 will likely give Rockstar the budget they need to make a game with servers that don't run on potatoes. 